because some of you may know that I have a, a bit of a scientific background with uh, working with Dean Sessions and the Universal Model. And, uh, and because of that, I, I tend to look at a lot of things kind of from a kind of a scientific standpoint. But uh, this is a, 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 a about a 1,500-pound or 1,700-pound uh, bull bison or buffalo. And, um, and we know that there were a lot of them um, on the plains. There are between 30 and 60 million of them on the plains back in the, uh, in the early 1800s. And, uh, and, and we know that they were ex exterminated basically almost to complete, you know, to a complete, uh, extermination, but you know, they almost went completely extinct. Um, there's only about 1100 animals left out of the 60 million Buffalo that they had been estimated were once upon the plains. They had uh, people come out and with, with just for sport, just shoot them. Um, they, they, they made uh, Buffalo tongue, a delicacy. And so anyway, the, um, they would come out there and they would shoot these things, and and the, and, and the people said, well, you know, there's there was hundreds of thousands of of, of men who died at Camora. Where's all their body parts? Where where's all their bones? Where's their skulls? Where's all their rib cages and so forth? They're all there. Well, these animals were actually um, left to lay, just like the Book of Mormon talked about the bodies of the Nephites and the Jaredites. They were left to just lay and to molder and to return to Mother Earth. Um, so where is all their bones? Where's all their bodies? And these, and these were just in the 1800s, literally within just years of when they were killed. Now, I, I've done some uh, some additional information. This is actually a, a buffalo uh, site where a buffalo died in Yellowstone National Park. And you can kind of see how within about a year and a half or so, the bones just look like this. So within a year, the, the animal was remains basically was all just bones. There was wolves and other animals and flies and maggots and, and uh, chemical degradation and, and breakdown, freezing and thawing cycles and weathering happening, wind erosion and all kinds of things happening on this, the remains of this, this, uh, this, you know, massive Buffalo. This is, this is uh, what's left of a Buffalo after about a year, year and a half or so. And this is what's left of a buffalo after about two years. Um, basically, the bones have been pretty much scavenged away by other animals. Um, the, their bones are a lot heavier than human bones, obviously, because they're a much bigger animal. 